My name's Letitia Scanlon and I do clay target shooting. Well, it's one of the true international sports. Uh, it's virtually played in every country in the world. It's one of the original Olympic sports, been in every Olympic game since 1896. Clay target shooting works by shooting clay targets that fly out of a trap. Uh, the clay target's going around 100 k's per hour and there's 15 traps underground. When people say, you know, females shooting guns, you've got two stereotypes. You've either got rednecks and hillbillies shooting gators at a swamp or you've got Lara Croft in um, Tomb Raider shooting stuff so you know when I say that I'm shooting shotguns people look at me and don't expect a five foot three fifty kilo pocket rocket to be standing in front of them. Tisha was around about 15 and Bernie her father um, was shooting he was a good shot um, an amateur didn't go into anything big and big and bold um, and then she said to her dad I really want to try it so off she went and then she said, hmm, I really enjoy this. Quite a few people I now coach, um, the people like James Willett, even Letitia Scanlon at the start of her career um, was probably one of the first people to actually professionally coach her in some format. And it's been great to see how they've progressed to, all the way to being potential medalists in Rio. My first world championship team was an absolute disaster. I came last, last in the world. So from there, I think I've progressed quite well. I'm actually fifth in the world at the moment, but that's the one thing that I would say to people, you know, that are trying to come up in the sport, that your failures or your disappointments actually make you a better competitor. It was very hard the first couple of years. Um, she was doing uh, very well at school. That probably suffered a little because she really wanted to make it. Um, she wanted to make the Australian team and she did so. She put 100% in. Not all of the, um, the competitors we've had that have made the Olympic Games are technically as good as Letitia, but the fact that she's now a, a very tough competitor mixed in with her technique, that, that sort of ticks all the boxes that you're after. I train around three to four hours per day and that consists of at least 100 to 125 targets. In terms of fitness, I'm working out every day just to keep a really good fitness level. You don't actually use a lot of your arms, it's all mainly core work. So I do a lot of Pilates and um, you know, circuit training with my personal trainer just to, to get that you know, nice and stabilised. Clay target shooting is hand-to-eye coordination. Under pressure of competition, it can be one of the most nerve-wracking because you're talking split seconds to determine whether you uh, make the final or not. Anything that you can do as an individual to really be mentally strong, whether it be a sports psychologist. I think I've had around seven sports psychologists in my career and I just take little techniques from each one um, that help me, you know, either gather myself when I've missed a target or help me concentrate before the actual event. Working with a shooter is getting them to be able to shoot one shot at a time. Their thoughts are likely to be in the past if they're thinking about missed shots. Uh, alternatively, if they start to look future oriented, then they start to think about the result. And all they need to focus on is the next shot. In between competitions, we have at least two hours gap. So they've got those adult coloring books now, and I'm just coloring in while everyone else is, you know, watching me color in, I guess. There's competitors that have gone past me thinking, is this girl 12? When she first introduced it to herself, I thought, oh my goodness, that is a, a little bit different. And then I said to her, you know, Tish, why are you doing this? And she said, it's a proven fact that it relaxes you. It's tapping into the right hand side of the brain. It's got that artistic aspect to it of picking the colours. You're not analysing. Um, even when you're colouring in, just listening to the sound of the colouring in. And it's like, almost like a form of meditation. Performing consistently well on, you know, the world stage would be probably an aim of mine. Letitia's been lucky to have quite a few Australian women that have been able to keep exposing her to more and more uh, international schools, international competitions, and um, it's, it's tough to make the Australian ladies team at the moment, and that's what you want. A, a big pyramid with a big base at the bottom of that pyramid means the people at the top are really, really good. And Letitia's lucky enough to be at the very top at the moment. We have the shooters with the ability. Uh, it's just about their preparation and then putting it all together at that moment in time. And uh, it's, a, it's realistic. I have got a very good feeling about it. I think that Letitia, in the last six months, 
is in a great place, the best I've ever seen her. You know, my aim is to medal at the Olympics in saying that this is my first Olympics so I might be a little bit ambitious but you know you never know.